Hey everyone, Jake here with my bring back. Continuing our series with the iPad iPhone app development, and today we're going to be going through how to actually implement a background image. And so as you can see from the simulator here, we've got a background image which includes our logo here, my bring back, if you haven't seen it before, and uh, also three buttons. So this kind of simulates as if somebody were to open the application. This would maybe be a page that would start them off. So they could go, ah, I want to visit Facebook, or, you know, the Facebook My Bring Back, or the website, Twitter. It's kind of an intro page, but it could also be used in several different cases. So, we are going to go ahead and close our simulator here, and kind of as a precursor, I've already designed a image that we're going to put in the background, and as you can see over to the right here, we've got a My Bring Back logo with a blank slate, given to the size of the iPad which is 768 by 10, 1024 and uh, with a resolution of I believe 132 which is the pixels per inch of the iPad so we've got that image off to the right here what we're gonna do is just open up a new view based application we're gonna call this uh, background image and go ahead and create that now as that loads we're gonna drop in our image that we predefined or our background image into the resources folder or supporting files so as you uh, open up this folder here you'll see supporting files we're just gonna throw it in there for the time being it could go in the background image folder etc but I like to keep things a little bit organized so we'll throw it in there make sure you're copying your item and items into the destination groups folder so that gives you the ability to tap in and reuse those icons, those images, etc. in the future. So throw that in there. Next thing we're going to do is go to the XIB controller here. And as you can see, nothing's in our uh, controller, our view controller right now, or XIB nib file. And so we're going to go to the right, open up the view controller, go down to objects, and scroll down. You'll see an image view controller. And so as we bring that in there, see it blows up and we can align it to fit the whole iPad screen and then with that we're gonna click the image view controller up here in the attributes you'll see an image drop down and since we've already placed an image within the supporting files of the application bundle we can go and select that which then brings up our application our background image in our UI view controller so we've got a nice little screen here that uh, gives us a frame of reference. So this could be anything that you guys are looking for. Now we're just going to add some round buttons just to give it a little bit of functionality. Um, as you guys saw from the simulator. So just drag an icon or a, a round button there. Maybe label this one Facebook. Copy and paste a few more in there. And this would be a uh, website followed up with the Twitter bird. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and select these, make sure they're centered on the page using the nice alignment there. All right, and the final thing that we're going to do is just run it, make sure that uh, your UI image view shows your background with the three buttons within the application. And as this loads here, perfect. So we've got our, our background image taking up the UI image view with three buttons that we haven't added any functionality, but it just gives an example of how you can use background images, integrate different functionality actions that give your user the ability to uh, move forward through your application. So hopefully that helps. Again, subscribe. Um, let us know what you're looking for. Click a likey like if you're uh, if you like that, and uh, we'll continue to roll out the tutorials. I know Trav is working on some Android stuff for uh, some different videos for you guys, so be patient. We're looking at a uh, couple more days, and he'll be releasing some of those Android applications. All right, peace out, guys.